So hi folks, I just wanted to give you a quick technical video about how to um, add multiple mask effects to anything that's inverted in um, Premiere. So this is basically if you just want to kind of omit a particular thing within your screen. And it just took me a bit of time to figure this out. So for anyone who's having a bit of problem, I just thought I'd um, show you this little nugget that I found online somewhere. So um, say that I wanted to, for example, um, get rid of two digits on this clock. Um, now what you'd see is if, if I um, add the mask effect you can see that it will get rid of one when I invert it. Um, now say that I wanted to get rid of another one as well then um, if I try and add another mask straight away it will get rid of my first mask and um, if I try and invert that then it will not get rid of anything. Now it's just a bit of a problem because um, I want to try and get rid of two things. If you don't invert it, then for whatever reason, um, it can get rid of them and maybe you could um, figure out a way to use this information. But a quick way I found was um, if you first of all get rid of that, go back to the first mask that you did and then if you go to, uh, where is it now, if you go to clip and then go to nest, click OK, uh, then you see that your sequence here will turn green. When you've nested a sequence it sort of locks it in place, so then if you start, press the pen key again, and then if you do another um, cut out here with the mask, invert that, then you'll see that it will get rid of um, what you did there and you can keep both of them. So the trick is, is that first of all, before you add that second mask, is that you nest the sequence and then you can play over it again and then add another mask. Hope that helps. Bye.